Assalamu alaikum everyone peace be upon you all it's me again Bahija Dunlad Shaibani your BCBA I hope you all are staying safe and healthy so today we are going to talk about signs of autism whether you are a first-time parent or you have kids before you will be in the right place or better chance to know if there's something wrong with your baby some first-time parents might say um, I don't know what to expect or what not to expect but trust me your instincts are always right you have been around so many kids before you have your own so you will know some things that a kid should have at some point in time um, play skills language um, interactions there are some things that comes natural that you will probably know that your kid is lacking so you would be in a better chance to actually know and tell if there's something wrong with your kid we should not always depend on the pediatrician to tell us um, if there's something wrong or not because we go to the visit we spend just about 15 to 30 minutes for evaluation they will not be able to tell us exactly they will not be able to see a lot of things that your kids are lacking in or what they actually can do yes so you could be at a doctor's place and you might think that um, your kid um, doesn't do some things and then from nowhere the kid does something you go like oh he couldn't do this before right it could be that it just it just happened that the kid could do it but you never observed it right or you might think that oh he's able to do something and then you go to the doctor the, doc the, the, the doctor says oh he can't do this or he can't do that so parents are always in the better place to tell exactly what their kids are or what their kids can do all right so we're going to be talking about signs of autism and um, before I even start if you're giving the um, the M chart R which is the modified checklist for autism in toddler revised please make sure that you are writing exactly what your kid is like do not shortcut it or do not um, um, add more to it if it's not like that just be careful how you um, you fill in those checklists that might be able to get your kid the right services that they deserve so please be careful when you are filling in those M charts R um, form. Okay, it's just a checklist to understand who your kid is better. All right. So um, I'm gonna be talking about the signs in no particular order because there's no particular order. I'm just it's just an observation that you have to do to see if your kid is lacking in this sense or your kid is actually engaging in this kind of behaviors, which are signs of autism. These signs of autism might or might not show early in your child or might just be overlooked. So you as a parent need to be really observant um, in everything your kid is doing and catching things that are lacking and making sure that you are addressing that appropriately and immediately. So um, this signs of um, autism um, not every kid would have all these um, signs I'm showing or I'm going to be talking about. Most of the time you can have some of them, but mostly um, you can see some kid having almost all these things um, lacking or they are actually engaging in that. So um, just be on the lookout. If you have a newborn or you have toddlers in your house, just be observant and make sure that you're catching everything and um, when you go to the doctor uh, you address it okay so one sign that you would probably see in a kid or in your kid is that um, they are playing inappropriately with toys in the house either they are lining up um, cars or toys or they're just um, spinning the wheels 
continuously instead of driving it on the ramp and say vroom vroom and crashing it into other cars which is the appropriate way um, to play with the cars if they're not doing that and they're doing other things with the car not imaginative play if they are doing imaginative play that is great but if you observe that they can't actually understand the usage of the toy or they can't appropriately use it then um, you know that's that's one sign of um, autism um, another sign that you will also see is that they are lacking um, social interaction or they can relate to others um, they will rather be by themselves and play by themselves um, or if they are in a group of kids they will just move away and um, play parallel you know to other kids but not actually engaging with them um, that is one sign also um, sign of autism um, sometimes you see the kid also not being able to um, um, have any speech they can have any functional language that is also a sign of autism it might not be that it might be just delay but it's also a sign um, of autism um, Another sign that you could also um, see or observe in a kid is that they have they are either um, hyperactive or passive, uh, meaning that they can just go from zero to hundred like energy going and going and going. They can't stop. They can they can just sit still. Or you can find a kid who is just so dull. We just sit down and then we'll be lost in space, just like that. Okay, so that is one sign of autism as well. Another sign that you could also observe in um, kids is that they have poor eye contact. Okay, um, when you see your kid um, engaging in a behavior like that, poor eye contact, when you're talking to them, they're not giving you the eye contact. You might want to, first of all, check and know that there's no problem with the eyes, they have no you know sight um, problems and if it's just that they're having difficulty in looking in your eye then it's also another sign of autism another sign of autism is that you will see a kid engaging in repetitive um, actions or behaviors they can be just flapping their hands or rocking in a chair continuously or just pinning themselves so those are also um, signs of autism. Um, another one that you could also um, observe is that they have um, difficulty in breaking um, routines. So if they are, they they know that when they wake up in the morning, these are the things that usually they do, and you try to change a little bit, or let's just say something happens and you can't do that thing that day, hell will break loose. Because they want everything. They want to be in control. They want to know what is happening after what is happening after one another. So if you if you break anything and you see the kid in tantrum or flipping, then you know that it's also um, another sign of autism. So all of these things that I mentioned, um, it could be just few of it that you will see in a kid or you could see a kid with everything in one. All right. So just be on the lookout. Just as I said, it might or might not show early in your child or it might just be um, unrecognized or just um, overlooked. And then later on, when they actually are supposed to be, um, be catching up with their peers, then you see they're lacking in things. They are ready to go to school, but you go like, oh, there's something wrong. They can't sit still in the classroom. They can't talk. Or they can even use the bathroom independently and um, all these things comes up and some parents just think oh it's just the age no you just have to be really observant if you are a fresh mom or if you have kids before if you have kids before you have a big advantage because you know um, what your kids did before uh, before that you had that one so if they're not catching up then you might want to you know talk to your doctor about it and make sure that is just a minor delay or if the kid is really autistic you might just want to tackle it right up because the earlier you tackle it the better chance the kid has in having um, um, a good life 
um, and also being able to catch up in the miles, uh, milestone. Um, so with that in mind, I just wanted to talk about um, the signs of autism and help our parents uh, who are new to look out for things like that because we are seeing the number of autistic individuals increasing every now and then. So catch it if it if it is possible. You're watching and you're observing your kid. Catch it as fast as you can and make sure that you get the right therapy um, and you know help your kid out with it. All right. Um, so before I go, if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that whenever that I upload, you will be sure to get a notification and watch my videos. Okay, thank you so much for watching and listening to me. And I hope that um, there's a message to take home with you guys. All right. So until my next video, stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless you.